Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google has released the third preview of the upcoming Android O software, and there are a few changes and a little bit of tweaks uh, in this update. I have done a video on the two previous updates. Check those out after you see this video to see other changes and what to expect from Android O. With that being said, let's go ahead and check out what's new. To begin, I have my Pixel XL right here, and it is running the third preview of the Android O beta. Now, you'll see I'm on Android beta program, but you'll also notice 8.0.0. So Google went ahead and included the Android version, which will be 8.0.0. Not exactly sure what O will be called yet. Drop a comment, let me know what you actually think it's going to be. Now, first thing I wanna show off, and I'm not exactly sure if this was on previous versions, but check out the the small icon on the left side in that subtle animation that was included, you'll see it just kind of pops up there and it does that as you have multiple notifications. So as I go down, you'll see that Gmail notification will do that as well. And then that little maps icon just kind of appears right there. So it is a nice little animation. I'm not sure if they've added it in this preview, but I don't remember it being there on previous versions. Next up is the ability to turn off notification dots. So this feature just got added in the last preview and you'll see it shows your notifications right there along with other actions you can take within that specific app. However, if you do not like that, you can shut it off. So all you have to do is go into your home launcher settings and you will see icon badging right there. So you can disable it by unchecking allow icon badges, and then you'll go ahead and see that those icons no longer show up on the app. When you press and hold, it will just go ahead and bring up those specific app shortcuts. Now, I do wanna make a note that when icon badges are enabled, all of the apps have that little blue icon, so they're not color coded anymore, which is a little unfortunate. I hope they do bring back the color coding for the icon badges. Another setting that got added is another way to customize the icon shape, and it's called Teardrop, as you can see right there. Let's go ahead and activate that Teardrop, and then take a closer look at those icons. So as you can see, it's not quite a circle. It adds a little drop on that bottom right-hand corner. And no, it doesn't activate on all of them. You see the Clock app, a Messenger, Camera, a bunch of different apps got activated for that Teardrop. And speaking of the Clock app, here's a look at the newly redesigned icon as well going into that specific app. Got a bit of a color revamp as well. You'll see a little blue, you can swipe over and go through as well. But that uh, icon and clock app got a bit of a revamp. Something else new is a customization of your media art controls and it is related to the specific album art. So you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and skip a song and you'll see it changes the color it shows that album art as well. This is specifically Spotify, but it does it with other media playing apps as well. So I really like it. I think it's a pretty neat look. And you'll see here, if I go to my lock screen, it does that as well. You can expand it and you'll see it's a completely different color. So nice that uh, it has a different look and you'll see there, it even changes the background still as well, along with that media controls. In terms of settings, if you use the system UI tuner, they've actually, uh, disable the bunch of settings that you uh, can customize. So now it only has do not disturb and status bar as well. And then another one that got updated is the battery settings. So if I tap on the battery, you'll see it has a nice little animation filling up that battery to a specific percentage. And the last thing I wanna show off is the camera app because it got revamped just slightly. So you see I'm taking pictures right now. If I swipe over, uh, there's a bit of an animation between that icon switching from a camera to a video recorder as well. And then of course this icon to flip to the front facing camera got flipped around or got a bit of a revamp as well. And there you have it. So that's pretty much it in terms of the camera app and just Android 8.0.0 in general. So uh, curious to see what O is gonna be called. Nice that we know that it is Android 8.0, not a bit of a surprise there because it is a major Android update. So lots more to come. So click that subscribe button. You can follow me on various social media. All links down below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.